Fertility rates move in the opposite direction as economic development. What that means is as countries get richer, women have fewer children. Mexico is an exceptional case in that fertility rates have dropped there faster than almost any other country in the world. This figure gives you an idea of just how dramatic the drop was in fertility rates in Mexico. Mexico is the top line here, meaning that fertility rates were higher there than in any of the other selected countries or regions. On average, fertility rates went from the 70s to 2005. They dropped from about 4.5 children per woman to 2.5. This is across the world. In Mexico, on the other hand, it went from 6.5 to 2.2 children per woman. This is a 66% drop in fertility in a very short time period. Life expectancy has also changed dramatically in Mexico in this time period. In the 50s, Mexicans tended to live on average 55 years. By 2005, that had increased to 75 years. There's big repercussions for this big increase in life expectancy and this big decrease in fertility. The first is that there's currently a boom generation of workers. These people are in their prime working years, age 15 to 64, but eventually they will retire. As I mentioned before, Mexico's fertility rate is 2.2. This is not much above the 2.1 level that people think is necessary for population to stay steady. Because of that, it's possible that Mexico could begin to suffer falling population levels starting even as early as 2030. At that time, the portion of the population aged 65 or more will almost triple from 6% of the population in 2008 to a forecasted 21% in 2030. Let's take a look at Mexico's age distribution from 1950 to the present and what's forecasted up until 2050. So if we look at the youngest cohort of Mexicans, those from 0 to 14 years of age, they've fallen from 42% of the population in 1950 to 31% in 2008. And it's forecasted that they're going to drop to 16% by 2050. So the very youngest portion of the population is supposed to go down by quite a bit. And how about the working age cohort, those aged between 15 and 64? Well, it's increased from 54% of the population in 1950 to more than 63% in 2005. Okay, so this is the boom generation that we were talking about. The problem is that it's supposed to reach a maximum of almost 70% in 2025 and then start falling to around 62% by 2050. There are several general reasons for why fertility goes down as wealth goes up. First, in poor rural areas, there's an increased demand to have a lot of children. Children can help on the farm. They can also take care of you when you get old. There tends to be much higher infant mortality in these areas. So if you want to ensure that a certain number of children survive to be caregivers like this, then you have to have a lot of them. There's also a lot less access to contraception in these areas, and women's education tends to be low. This means they typically get married earlier and have more time to have kids. With increasing wealth and urbanization, Mortality rates fall, which means that more of your children would be expected to make it to adulthood. There is more access to cheap and effective contraception. And the cost of having children in terms of their education, clothing, and care go up. There are also some Mexico-specific reasons for why fertility fell so quickly. The first is that the government has tried to use policy measures to bring down fertility in the post-World War II period. Specifically, they passed the General Population Law of 1974, which subsidized contraceptives and tried to increase public awareness of the issue through educational programs and advertisement. The second Mexico-specific reason is that immigration rates have skyrocketed during this period. So immigration of working-age men increased from 3% to 16% from 1970 to 2000. It's estimated that there's been an almost 15% drop in the potential male workforce between 1980 and 2000. Others argue that those numbers remain relevant, at least until the financial crisis hit in the United States. So this immigration represents a separation of tens of thousands of families, a phenomenon that would certainly bring down fertility numbers. There is a lot of great material on the web on fertility and demographic transition, but the material here on Mexico was taken from an article called Economic Implications of Mexico's Sudden Demographic Transition in Business Economics, July 2008.